question of the relationship between charity and social enterprise is, is quite an important one, I think, isn't it? That, that being able to distinguish the two? Yeah, yeah or, I mean, I think... am I seeing that wrong? Well, no, I think the, ma- the main is, is mission first. Right, you know, so like charities exist to deliver a social mission, yes. a charitable purpose. Social enterprises exist to deliver a social mission. Mm. But uh, the, the key thing about social enterprise is that it delivers that through a commercial model, generally the right. trade, you know, of, of goods and services. But as I say, charities are also can also be social enterprises. Mm. So it's not really about this identity. It's more about how do you get your resource in order to deliver your mission. Kilmarnock started life as a charity. Am I right um, about that? Yeah, very yeah. much so. And yeah. um, our, our changing point was really about seven years ago when we lost the Anzac Poppy contract. Right. So before that, we really operated very much with a charity mentality. We um, we had one contract which was a commercial contract. We had one contract which was um, government funding, and the rest was kind of donations and grants and things like that. But when we lost that commercial contract, it really made us think about how can we become more self-sustainable? How can we ensure our future? How can we put that into our own hands rather than? Um, and and, and is that, does that effectively mean how do we operate as a business? That's right, right correct. Yeah. So we came in, we basically applied really stringent, really strong um, business practices. We diversified significantly. And the really exciting thing that I love is through the fact that um, our commercial um, uh, business has grown and has become very commercially focused, the social impact of what we do has become equally, you know, the curves follow each other, which is fantastic, and that's what you want. Right. So it's not, right. it's not or, it's and, and, you know, commercial and social. Right. Mm-hmm. So, Lisa, you, yeah. your, your story's quite well known, I guess, that you, you and your partner had an epiphany, what are we doing with our lives, and, and yeah. decided on Eat My Lunch. But you didn't decide to set up a charity, you decided to set up a business. And yeah, so and tell came, us about why you made that decision. Well, it came back to um, sustainability and also scalability. You know, like the problem of kids going hungry, like we estimate there's probably around 25,000 kids in New Zealand a day. To be able to, you know, get to our mission of making sure none of them going hungry, we kind of knew it also had to be scalable. Mm-hmm. Um, and self-sustaining and so setting it up as a charity you know relying on donations and funding and um, as Michelle said once they stop your good work right. has to stop as well um, so we went very much we came from corporate backgrounds and so we took kind of like business skills business models and tools and tried to apply it to this problem and so that's how we started with a business but at the heart of it is our social right. mission um, and you know what we've found is really amazing that even though we are a business we still get volunteers you know so this morning there was at least 25 volunteers in here making lunches for the kids you know we've had over 4,000 people come and do that um, even though and you, we're you actually commercial run a, a enterprise. Roster, don't you? Yeah, people just sign up online to come and volunteer and we have a two-month waiting list at the moment right. you know for volunteering and I think it goes back to you know Alex says it's the mission that comes first and you know, people buy why we do what right. we do, not necessarily the lunches. Right. Um, and people just want to get involved, regardless of you know whether we're a business or a charity. So in fact, there are two ways there: you can get involved by buying a lunch, you can get involved by helping. Yeah. yeah.